Welcome to Second Opinion, the review show here on The Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing the ABUS Bordeaux 6000 Folding Lock. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO100. So, folding locks for your bicycle. They are uh, more versatile than a U-lock, but way more secure than a cable lock. Compare this one to the foldy lock that I reviewed a few weeks ago. Um, So you can go back and listen to that episode as well uh, to really get a sense for how these two break down compared to each other. The Bordeaux 6000 uh, comes in at about $110, depending on where you're buying it from. Let's talk about the size of this lock. So it is made of segments that are about 14 centimeters long each, uh, which means that it unfolds to a 90 centimeter circumference, uh, and it has almost 400 square centimeters of interior area uh, for you to play with. It weighs 1.2 kilograms. After using the foldy lock, it definitely feels much more light and compact, um, but it is definitely, it's still a heavy lock uh, in the grand scheme of things. So if, if you're somebody who is really sensitive to how much weight you're putting on your bike, you know, I guess, I mean, you probably aren't even looking at folding locks. So what are you doing here? Durability. So this lock is uh, sold secure, silver rated. Um, there's only uh, the, there's only like one model of folding lock that I know of that has a higher security rating than this one, um, and it is almost twice the price. So I th- I definitely made that made that calculus made that call uh, for myself that like I don't need a two hundred dollar lock for my you know. $1,200 bike. I have not yet experienced any attacks against this lock, thank goodness, um, but I will, of course, update this review if, uh, if any do occur. The joints and the locking mechanism have remained nice and smooth, uh, no like seizing up or anything like that. Um, I have it mounted on the bottom of my down tube, so it does get quite a lot of like splashback from my front tire. Uh, if I'm whenever I'm like riding in even slightly wet conditions, um, and so yeah, I'm I'm very happy with uh, the way that it is held up to uh, being bombarded with uh, with water. The lock does come with an extra key, so you can uh, either leave that in a drawer at home for, you know, as a backup, uh, or, you know, if if you've got, like, multiple people in your household who need to have uh, access to the key, that'll work there. Um, It also comes with a personal code that you can use for ordering more keys if you need them. And finally, I would like to note that the all of the segments of this lock are covered in like a slightly rubbery material, so that you don't scratch your bike as you're moving it around, uh, you know, and, and getting that that locked up. Um, the rubber on the locking mechanism area itself can like kind of move around a little bit, so it doesn't feel like it's fully attached to the lock, which is it's a little bit strange. Um, but the the material that is covering all of the individual segments, um, those feel like it it feels like it's just kind of a, a coating that's been not painted but applied to those those arms those segments, um, and so it feels it feels like it's one cohesive piece of material, even though you can clearly tell that like oh yeah, there's metal underneath this uh, this slightly rubbery material. So the versatility of this lock, um, I mean, in general, just for folding locks in general, this is what impresses me the most about the the design. So they have a much greater circumference than most U-locks, and it can unfold into different shapes so that it can lock to like a much wider variety of objects. This one in particular, the Bordeaux 6000 has uh, much narrower segments than the foldy lock does so it is easier to like thread it through like narrow little you know what i'm talking about that there are bike locks that bike racks that aren't very well designed for allowing you to like you know get your lock in there um and uh and i've, I've found that i've had uh, an easier time with that using um using this lock than i did with the foldy lock 
As with most folding locks, uh, the uh, the Bordeaux 6000 comes with a holster that you screw onto your bike frame uh, on one of the like water bottle mounting points. The lock then slides into this holster and it's held securely in place. I found that this is a, a much better carrying experience than like either a U-lock or a cable lock. And this holster in particular, so most folding locks that I've seen, they have kind of like a rubber strap that holds the lock in place. Um, but this one, it's got the these like spring-loaded clamps, which is really, really neat, and it and it, it feels really secure, even though it, it almost doesn't look like it should be able to hold the lock securely in place. Like, I've never had it jiggling around. I've never had it sliding out or anything like that. Um, even though I have it mounted on the bottom of my down tube, you know, which is like, that is, that is prime location for the lock just like sliding out of the, uh, holster and falling off. I've had zero problems with that. So final thoughts. Yeah, I like this lock a lot. Um, I think definitely unless like if I ever have to buy another lock, I'll definitely be looking at this brand, um, probably this model. It feels like a good price point for me. Um, it feels like a good amount of security that it gives me. And I just, I really like the experience of using this lock. And uh, so un unless in the future there's like, there, there's a, a totally different paradigm in the in the bike lock world, uh, I think I'll be sticking with uh, with something very similar to this one. Thanks for listening to this episode of Second Opinion Reviews. Uh, this is our 100th episode, which is very exciting. It's a, an arbitrary number, but hey, um, we've been uh, doing this show for a little under five years, uh, and we've uh, just hit 100 episodes, so that means that we've been doing more than 20 episodes per per year, which is, I mean, about on, on, on point for uh, where we should be with a, with a fortnightly show. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck. This episode is released under a Creative Commons attribution license, so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit, as long as you link back to the original page, which once again is thenexus.tv slash SO100. If you would like to discuss this episode with other listeners, you can do so on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash the Nexus TV. Second Opinion is supported by listeners like Quentin Pongratz, who voluntarily joined us on Patreon to help us financially as we continue to make technology-focused podcasts. Thank you very much, Quentin. And until next time, have a good one. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from, from the, the Technological, technological Convergence. convergence.